as you get ready to be inspired, informed, and entertained. Get ready. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Keeping It Real with Nana. On today's episode, we'll be talking about the societal pressure for a woman to get married. So stay tuned. Welcome to Keeping It Real with Nana. We have here two ladies that will be sharing their views on the societal pressure to get married as a woman. So please introduce yourselves. So Vasti Kakaria is my name from Milton Keynes. Thank you. Very stable from Nottingham. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you, ladies, for sharing this platform um, for us You're to welcome. share on the topic societal pressure mm -hmm. for women to get married. Let's dive in. Whoever wants to take it first. I think um, th this question, hmm, it's a lot. Because you need to understand that marriage is a choice. It should be mm. a choice and a decision. If you are not emotionally and physically ready, don't go into it. Mm. Because you need to understand the sacrifices, responsibilities that marriage involves. Mm. The fact mm. that you are allowing external people to influence you, you need to ask yourself one crucial question. Are these people going to be in the marriage when you are actually getting married? Mm. If the answer is no, then that means you need to understand that it's a decision it's a whole lot you can't just go and get married mm. you need to understand whether you are unselfish enough because mm. at times you might have you might have kids once you get married and at times you would like to sleep but because you have kids you cannot leave them and mm -hmm. go and sleep so it's all about being also unselfish with your partner with your kids but also being patient with your kids and partner mm. so i think marriage is a choice and a decision if you're not ready into it don't let external people influence you because mm. if not you're going to suffer and these people are going to be there and laughing at you. But it's easy said than done, though. Mm, yeah, it's true. Because uh, we're saying let's sometimes, not... Mm, sometimes it gets to you. Yeah. You know, especially when sometimes you see people that probably you're older than them settling down. Mm. You are human. You're human. So you mean when you see younger people, people younger than you, you getting yeah. married and you're still mm. not. Okay. I remember there was a time somewhere in the summer and I was very... It's hard to people say... They are depressed. I was very down. Mm -hmm. I know with COVID and everything went out, yeah. but sometimes you you know you see people that probably probably 22, 23, and you sit down, and you're like, God, what is happening? You are human. Mm -hmm. You know, as much as you don't let society pressure get to you, mm -hmm. there are times that you might break down as well. You know, just mm -hmm. like you're saying to her that, you know, it's so easy to say. Yeah. But you are human. The moment yeah. you get to, because in our culture, if you are 27, you are already an old lady, mm. you know, but you, you need to, you don't have to listen to what people say. I've had mm. a lot of said, things said to me. People have asked me, why don't you want to get married? Marriage is a choice yeah. and marriage is a time. And mm. one thing I want to say, there is two things that people or human beings have no power in, mm. and that's married and childbearing. Mm. And What so do it, you mean by that? Because mm. you cannot, if, 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 you're, if you're not... Um, if you, you're not able to conceive, you cannot go and, you know, there's IVF thing going on. Mm. But if it's not happening, it's not happening. Mm. If God doesn't give it to you, it's not happening. Mm. And same mean, as yeah. marriage. Mm. If you, you can, and one thing I would say, you can get a man and marry because you are in a rush. Mm. But if it's not something from God, it will not last. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm. you know, if True. God doesn't give it to yeah. you, you can't buy it. Mm. You know, and there was something I've always said, that even if marriage was sold in shops, mm. there will be days that you go, you'll not find what you're mm. looking for. Yeah. So you don't wow. always push people to when are you getting married you don't mm. know what people go through their closet mm. i have had times where i've broken down mm. because i felt like oh, why is it not happening yeah. but trust me when the time is right mm. nobody right. will stop that door wow you know and so you don't have to listen we are human beings mm. you know I, I lived in italy for years and sometimes you, you see these kids in italy you know, everybody's getting married mm. you're like what the hell is going on but then the you know i've got two legs i've got two hands. Mm. Just like them. Yeah. The question is, do yeah. they really understand what actually marriage entails? That's Good. the problem. Yeah. Good. They just go because of other people are getting you, married. Grace, well said. Because mm. sometimes I look at myself and say, 
maybe if I'd gotten married early, my mm. marriage would not have lasted. Mm. Yes. Because I've now matured. Yes. Mm. And I'm getting goosebumps saying this because yes. I mean what I'm saying. Yes. Because first I would nag about everything. Mm. Mm. Because I wasn't with the right person. Yeah. And I was, I really want to be married because I saw people getting married. Yes. But I felt that this was my time. Mm. Yes. It was my moment, just yeah. like the church song would say. Yeah. If it's not your time, it's not your time. That's it. And now I've it. matured and mm. now I feel like I'm ready to be a wife. Yeah. Mm. Not yeah. like before, but everybody's time is different. Yes. People mature differently. Yeah. What you take two minutes to understand, maybe it'll take 10 minutes for yeah. me to understand. We yeah. are all different. Yeah. So you don't have to think that because someone is going to have to go, yeah. it's their time and maybe yeah. they are ready for it yeah. because yeah. maybe mentally, psychologically, yeah. they want it and it's mm. their time. Yeah. I have just matured now and I, wow. I wouldn't say it, I say it with pride. Yes. Because I've matured now. Yeah. Now I know when I'm going for a marriage, it's going to work. work. Because I've worked on myself. Yes. yes. I'm not going with what has happened in the past. Yeah. I'm going because I've, I've managed to forget what's happened. I've mm. strived to be a matured woman. Mm. I've mm. understood that because God works with timing. Yes. First, I didn't, you know, first, you know, I'll be like, why God? And now I'll weep. Yeah. I remember there was one time I weeped to some pastor and he said, Pastor, your time will come. Mm. And it's like he, he prophesied in my life. Yes. Two months, things change. Wow. And if it's your time, it will happen. Yeah. Don't let any auntie yeah. or mm. uncle put you down <laughs> or put yeah. you up. Don't. <laughs> yeah. When your time comes, mm. the door will open. Mm. Yeah. There's a one Bible verse that I love so much in the book of, I think, somewhere says, David said, the door has been opened. Mm. And when it opens, no one can shut. shut. And Amen. when your door opens, no one will mm. shut it. Yeah. So don't let any auntie, uncle, any deaconess or deacon tell you, hey, go, you're growing up or... Well, you are growing up, but you're learning things. Yes. yes that maybe exactly. if she had known, she would have married the man yeah, she is yes, with. Exactly. Yes. They married, they wish they were single. Yeah. So they could take their time. Yeah. You know, I know nobody knows what will happen tomorrow. Yeah. But I'm sure that with the choices that I've made today, mm. even if my marriage struggles, yeah. I've learned mm. to yes. strive to make mm. it work. Wow. Seven years ago, maybe I wouldn't. Yeah. Maybe my marriage yeah. would have been broken by now. Yeah. So I say with pride that by God's grace, yeah. my time has come because I've learned it. And don't let any person tell you that. You have to rush into marriage. Yes. I can so relate to that mm. because it got to a stage for myself mm. where mm. Um, I I found myself in a place where I remember um, we went to a, a, a very close friend of mine got married mm. and um, he's a male, by the way, in this mm. case. And, um, and people around me, um, saw how happy I was for the person yeah. who was getting married. Mm. And the person actually, this, this external mm. person <laughs> asked me, wow, Nana, you seem very, very happy on this mm. day. Like, what's, I mean, why are you so happy? Mm -hmm. And I was like, excuse me, what's the problem in me celebrating mm. the joy that these people share? Mm. You know, it's, it's as though we forget that we should be one yeah. and joy and, 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 and celebrate each, each other. other. And there's power in that. Mm. I think for me personally, that has been the thing that has kept me going. Mm -hmm. I have, I, I want to say I hardly had the, the time to even um, feel somewhat um, down because I'm not mm -hmm. married mm -hmm. yet. Mm -hmm. And all I would say, in fact, all of my close friends got married before mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. And I can also sit here and say that I could have gotten married Long. years ago. Yes. Mm. But li I like how you said that because mm. I would have found myself in the same place mm. where I feel like I wouldn't have been my happiest. Mm. Yes. I wouldn't have been yes. the woman mm. that God ordained me mm. to be mm. as a mm. wife mm. for someone of that course, will better, better understand I've me. I've got goosebumps really. because you know what? The wrong marriage will end you to early grace. Yeah. Yes. And sometimes what we don't know is you can meet a man that will drift you from the purpose that God has oh, That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, youth, 20, 30s, don't let anybody tell you to get married. Mm. When your time comes, you know. Yeah. And when the man is right, you know. Yeah. Mm. You wouldn't have to go and read this encyclopedia to know if he's <laughs> the right, right man. Or read yeah. from the book of Genesis to Revelation. Mm. When it's your time, the door will open. Absolutely. And that's what I would say. Yeah. Yeah. I've been through, and I, probably you were, I, I got to a point that if someone was getting married and I, I was older than them, I wasn't going. Wow. Okay. I see. It's the truth, you know. Yeah. I, I it, It's hard. Mm. And I'm being genuinely, you know. I'm, yeah, I'm you're not, being honest I mean, yeah. here. If I'm keeping it real. And if yeah. I was older than yeah. them, mm. no chance. Yeah. Because I feel like, God, Vast, you should be ashamed of yourself. Mm. You know, and that's something, it's because sometimes it's not even what, 
it, it's just your mentality. Maybe mm. it's not even what someone is saying because mm. you think that maybe actually you should be married mm. now. Mm. Right. Mm. It's not. But who even gave us that so-called number? You know, yeah. I, I remember <laughs> when I was younger, I used to say by the age of 25, mm. I have to mm. be married. Mm. By 27 mm. or 8, I should have no, kids. I think it's something, Nana, you know, it's something that our society, I'm, the mm. Ghanaian, it's mm. something that our society has portrayed over mm. all these years. Mm. If you are 25 and you're not married, we are born. Oh, yes, you are. We are an old person. <laughs> yes. You know, if you are menopause. and you're not married. Menopause. Menopause. You know, <laughs> <laughs> the kids that have to come at 25, they have yeah. put a plan for you, mm. which you need to follow. But yeah. emotionally, they mm. don't know how you feel. Yeah. People yeah. can say everything about you and they don't think yeah. far yeah. that yeah. you are actually struggling with what yeah. they are saying. And you know, one thing I'll say, Grace, sorry to interrupt you, there is sometimes there are things that we think we need, but we don't need it. Mm. Mm. Okay, so you might think that you, you won't marry so badly, but maybe that's not even what you yeah. need. Yeah. Yes. That's you you need, need to work on mm. yourself first. Mm -hmm. You need to get some setting career. Mm. You need to mature. Mm. For me, it was the maturity. Yeah. Yeah, maybe really. you'll see a girl, big girl, maybe a size 16, big and tall, and you yeah. think, oh, maybe, no. Yeah. Because the, the way someone looks doesn't go with maturity. Absolutely Up not. there, I was a child. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how to relate with a man. Mm. I would nag unnecessarily. Mm. But now I know I've chilled. Yeah. Because I've worked on myself. Maybe yeah. someone got married in 26 or something, mm. but she knew. Yeah. She matured probably mm. earlier than yeah, me. Yeah. Mm. And I take that. Yeah. I'm not ashamed yeah. to say this, yeah. but I feel that this is my time mm. because I know I've taken my time today. Nobody didn't teach me. Mm. No. It will no. come with time because yes. when it's your time, mm. it's things your will time. unfold. And I believe that when you are really, really young and you get married, there are certain things that you actually lack. For instance, we young people, mm. we are not patient. Mm. Every single Very thing you get pissed off yeah you know but i think that once you get mature mm. most of the things mm. as you say you mm. you get to understand yeah. them because marriage is all about patience sure. as well. yeah. if you're not you cannot mm. marry no. yeah you cannot no. marry because every single thing yeah. that the man will do will piss you off yeah oh, and we're always you. in the rush to yeah want and to, the man will go yeah. outside yeah. Mm. and then you'll be crying at no. home yeah so i think as you say maturity in itself it, it, it's a whole lot yeah. but you need to get fully mature because marriage is not into. just in the bedroom yeah, sometimes we want to just get married because you know we go to Churches where no sex before marriage, everything. <laughs> the way they have portrayed it's like it. I have to have sex before <laughs> yeah. um, having um, God comes. Yeah. So we think we it, it's there, mm. but marriage is not. You know, you can't sleep with anybody, it's and it takes about five mm. to ten minutes. But when marriage is all about time, mm. yeah. you you wait. When you wait, you know, the thing is, the wait is long. I've wow. waited, and you know, when sister said, you know, when you marry at certain times, it's not right. Mm. For me, Rusty. I met men, but I thought I was too young. Mm. Mm. You know, if you are ready, mm. you are ready. You are mm. ready. Yeah. And that patience will come. Mm. You cannot be a mother and because you got married at 21, mm. you won't have patience. Yeah. You have it because that child came out of you. Yeah. You have mm. patience. For, but it, it all depends on you, the yeah. person. Yeah. I felt as if I had so much time. And that's yeah. one thing if we will we'll talk one day about things mm. we knew when they are 20s. Yeah. I could have got married earlier. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Just like me honestly you know. and I so relate to that and I and I, one thing I always kept telling myself mm. is that I don't want to marry wrong mm. no. No. God, and, and and the prayers that I've prayed into this sister honestly speaking my God God we don't want to sister, go for me saying. it's not even about the prayers the offering mm. because sometimes someone will say if you want to you have to you have to over bow for your offering mm. the amount of offering even if i don't have i'm, I'm taking it out of my nose mm. i want to offer because i said i want to get married mm. i have plans just you know then sometimes we think we have plans but that's not the plan that mm. god wants for thank us thank you yeah. Yeah. i had plans you know i wanted to be married by 21 yes. just i'm 30 now 21 comes and you're like looking at your clock what's <laughs> time is ticking <laughs> body clock <Yeah. laughs> you know like, what's going who on? sets that who 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 said so, that so, as I said before, it's yeah. the society, the Ghanaian culture. The, where, because if you look at the Western mm. people, my teacher, mm. she got married at 40. And she's perfectly fine. And who who is telling her otherwise? No one, no one pressured her. No. She, yeah. And she got her, kid, her child at 43. Yeah. And she's okay. And but she's we fine. Ghanaian, we have set a list, you know, for yeah. each woman. You yeah. need a timeline. You, yeah. you need to finish at 21. Yeah. 25, yeah. you need to get back. 26, but you need to But the right westernized, the right westernized <laughs> relationship, or for them, what was normal for a girl to marry, is like, you buy a house, 
you get married and you have kids. Nobody is, is rushing, but it's like with us. It's mm. like there is a cane behind yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, Someone yeah, is true. Rushing. But I was very lucky. My parents never mentioned marriage mm. to me. Mm. And sometimes it's not only about society, mm. your own your house. Own yeah. house. The because pressure they put on you. And they'll be like, your daughter. Yeah. Uh, what's going my, on? Yeah. I was mm. very lucky. My yeah. dad has never mentioned marriage. It was my mom because sometimes you want kids. Yeah. But my dad... Hmm. He made me be yeah. because he knew that at the right time, and he knew your my time mom, will come. My dad would sit me down mm. and say, "You know, men are this. Be careful yeah. with the men you yeah. go out with." Mm. I've had this strong conversation with my dad before, and he made me understand that it's not in a rush. Mm. Mm. And when the time comes, you will know. Mm. That's what I want. You know, even if you're 40 and it's not coming, yeah. and someone and, for, and I've been honest. I didn't go to people's part, weddings, mm. and you are celebrating at the. For me, it was hard for me mm. to celebrate them. I see. Yeah. For me, it was hard. Yeah. Because if the person, you, you know, to be self, but we are human. And that's mm, one thing that, yeah. you know, if, and, and, you know, people come and put their boyfriends on, on, on social on media. media. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. sometimes you, you see. You long for the same thing. But these yeah. people, they are really faking it. But, <laughs> you but some, you know, no, but let's say. It goes two ways. <laughs> but just say, some, some are genuinely happy. But, you know, sometimes they also have to think about other people. But mm. most of the some, people that are on social media, they are really struggling emotionally. They are, they, they are but there are others that are very happy as yes. well. Yes, because, it goes both ways. You know, someone mm -hmm. said something. They don't put their child out on social media because mm -hmm. there is someone struggling for a child. Yeah, yeah. you might not be the reason, mm -hmm. or it's not your someone's business. You, mm -hmm. you've got, God has blessed you yeah. with it, yeah. but you don't know what other people the, are feeling. Yes. So be very mm -hmm. conscious of what you put out there. Mm -hmm. Society, mm -hmm. when you're happy, you know one thing I always say: mm -hmm. if you're putting your your relationship out there, mm -hmm. put your bedroom out there as well. <laughs> wow. You know, wow. there are certain things that we don't need on social media. Mm. There are certain things that we don't need to see. Mm. Because you, you, you put pre this, I do, you know, I do Ghana. I go to tell my left Instagram. Okay. Wow. Because so so media, media too. plays a big part here Definitely. as well. I left. No question. You know what? You've said something very significant. Because actually, I remember there was a time where I was like, I was talking with my friends and I was like, when, when we were like 18 and so on, yeah. we didn't see... People's um, no. traditional no. marriages, pre -wedding, and pre wedding shoot, and all of that. We didn't live Who with propose? The... Who yeah. proposed? Who proposed? Who even proposed? Like, will you yeah. marry me? I never saw that. Yeah. Yeah. But, no. <laughs> but now it is out there. Yeah, every everyone. day you check on Instagram, there's a picture out there. It's this true. and that. I love social we're media. Not say, we're not it's saying, true. of course, don't, don't it's put... bad to put on your personal mm. life on social media. That's your business. business. Even the Bible says it, yeah. Yeah. you know. But then again, let's be mindful <laughs> of others. Of others, I see what you mean. But be I feel like, what you mean. Uh, sorry, I no, feel like as you said, uh, mm. social media plays a big role. In not just in marriage, mm. in every aspect of your life. I remember that uh, once I came to this country, I wanted to go to university, and I was really struggling. And I was seeing all these people uh, putting the fact that they were at uni, they were going here, they were going, mm. and emotionally, I was really down. Because mm. I was like, I rather that bay. Mm. When will I also go to university? Mm. And now all these people mm. that they were posting on social media, mm. I'm going to invest. Now all these people, they come to me to seek help. Mm. Wow. And it's quite, you know, so I feel like, you know, social media plays a big role. But if you allow it to get into, into you, you, it will get into, into you. you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you know who you are, yeah. it's difficult to say social media will get into you, you just like, like that. that. You set that, boundaries. I always say this. You set mm, boundaries. You see what yeah. you want to see. Yeah. yeah. Filter, you don't allow you people to enter yeah. on yeah. your comfort no, zone no, just no, like no, that. No. You know, You'll at filter. times it's hard, but you need mm. to be bold enough say, and say, Grace, I don't mm. allow this. No, I don't no. entertain this. No, you no. know, people have don't the right to say you, you, whatever. Don't follow where you, it will bother you. Me, I will go and follow. I am not. I don't have Facebook. And it's, you know, you see even our auntie's 40, 50, I don't have it. So I don't want to see what's going out there because I see the Facebook that I knew in 2008 or 2007. It's not the same as yeah, today. Yeah. Our aunties yeah. are yeah. doing it with yeah. live videos. Yeah. So for me, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's all over. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> so, you know, things have changed. Wow. And I, I just think if there's no need for me, just like filter through mm. and don't let something, you know, now I've matured and mm. I've understood. The more you are happy for someone, you, it will yeah. attract happiness yeah. to That's you. That's it. Yeah. That that what you've just said mm. has been my secret mm. of happiness mm. in it's my true. life, mm. and it's and and it's come out mm. so much that as I'm speaking now, mm. uh, thanks be to God, mm. my marriage I am enjoying mm. it Amen. to the fullest, Amen. and I found 
that it has brought new newness mm. Mm. Yeah. new yeah. potentials mm. that i never knew mm. that yeah. existed yeah. in myself yeah. 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 and because that's the beauty of marriage for yeah. our fathers mm. that's it you're genuine that's for it. me i picked mm. for me i picked mm. you know i'm very selective with friends mm. yeah so I've oh, got. Yeah. <laughs> so too. if you're not my friend, I don't care when you're happy. You know, but mm, that was me. Yeah. But when you're genuinely, but even yeah. don't because it was my little circle. Yes. yes. If yes. I'm genuinely happy for you, you yeah. know, good things will also come to mm, you. Definitely. You attract yeah, what you attract. Yeah. Yes. It's but true. can I just say, it seems like emphasis has been made more on women to get married mm. than men. That's true. Okay. Mm. I don't know, viewers. What do you say about this? Do you agree with that? I mean, tell us. What's your what's your with take the on men, this? Sorry, Grace. Okay, I, I know you okay. wanted to say something. With the, with the men, I think the woman and man start to work. Mm. It's quite a good job. It's quite a little house because the woman and man thinks it's mature. He's not going to mm. live with parents. Yeah, they start to you've got a few beard and you know they think he's a big boy. Mm. So sometimes your your dad can say, "Don't bring any pregnancy at home." You know this yeah. sort of things. Mm. So the man will it will prompt the guy if mm. he's responsible. <clears throat> find a girl that you know will be suitable mm. and that they two can work together. And one mm. thing I'll say, girls, if you meet a guy, no matter how old he is, mm. so far as the man is responsible mm -hmm. and you two can work together, mm -hmm. don't waste time with the man. Mm. For me, Basti, I didn't know these things. Mm. I thought I had time. Mm. Sometimes the moment you think you have time, the whistle might blow, you have to run. Mm. And time might be too late. Mm. But thank to God, it's not late for me, mm. but it might be late for somebody. Yeah. So when you, for the men, but this this thing that you say is it might be late. It is depending on you yourself. So, what is late for you may not be late for, for me. me. Mm. You see, absolutely. So it goes both ways. ways yeah. Perhaps as well, you need to look at other factors as mm. well. Mm. Are you also surrounded by a support system, mm. people that will celebrate you as well and say, "Nana, Grace, Vasti, mm. don't worry. Yeah, it's take your time mm. with this marriage mm. thing." Mm. You mm. know, enjoy your singleness. Yes. Mm. Optimize your <laughs> single days to the most. Yeah. Do the things mm. that perhaps you never thought you could mm. achieve. Yeah. Mm. Um, personally, mm. if I share my own little story, yeah. I can say with confidence, um, personally, mm. not to boast here or anything. Mm. Please, those who are watching, don't take it that <laughs> way. But I'm I'm the type of person I, I like to show what i do mm. to motivate Someone. others yeah, okay definitely. you don't have to follow what i do mm. but one thing i always wanted to do is have a property mm. okay so that was one thing earlier on mm. so once i graduated i bought the property but then with my mom mm -hmm. and 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 it was amazing the feeling the mm. the sense of fulfillment mm, i got yeah. out of that yeah. Yeah. was so huge for me yeah. mm. it was important to me mm. why because i was focusing on my single self Oof. sometimes we seem to forget self-development mm. yeah. it's like oh it's nothing yes. meanwhile no. it is so mm. significant mm. and it it's needs to be spoken of about of course mm. of course work yeah. on yourself mm. as as you're single mm. that is the moment where you can you can, I mm. mean, find yourself, your mm. self-purpose mm. in life. Yeah, What's your true. purpose in life? Mm. Yeah. What were you created mm. to be? Mm. There's so much potential in, in all of us, yeah. but it's about finding that potential, yes. Yes. you know? Mm. And what are you great at? What do, do you it. love doing? Mm. You know, and I say it with confidence and with pride that if, if you know what you're about, mm. Sometimes this confidence may portray yes, as arrogance, arrogance yes, for yeah. some people. Oh, yeah. mm. But I'm not about that business. <laughs> you have to say it as mm. it is. Mm. You know, mm. sometimes we need to stop um, pinpointing, oh, this girl said mm. that and mm. this one is doing mm. this. Oh, look at them. Mm. They are showing off. They're showing yeah. off. No. Excuse me. We are all running our no, own race. Mm -hmm. So don't compare me mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. Mm. And be happy for one another. Yes. If I've achieved, I want to show you that you can do the yeah, same. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mm. And the men like women mm. that have done well for themselves. Yeah. That's it. No man want a woman that is going to be a liability. No, no. Very no. true. Especially in Very society. true. No. Very, Very true. true. Gone are the days where no, no. a woman will be just mm. cooking, cleaning yeah, 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 at the no, house. No, no. We are we, career The driven. thing is, yeah. we still do these mm. things, mm. but we have another yeah. side yeah. hustle. We have... Other yeah. things that we're yeah. doing, yeah, you know, yeah. 
Yeah. I wanted to say one aspect when we were talking about the external pressure to get married in, in terms of women. And I was thinking once you were saying that, what about the men? Does somebody actually educate them on how to get married or, on how, or, 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 or how to treat somebody's daughter? Yeah. You know, it's always the woman. Mm. Once you have reached a certain age, you need to get married. What about the men? Uh, are, are they educated enough? Mm. Uh, do, they re- do they understand the responsibility that marriage entails? Or... Are they just going in just to, you know, please maybe our society, our Ghanaian quota society? So I feel like we have talked about the women's mm-hmm. side, which I do understand. But mm-hmm. also at times it's the men. You, do, you don't want to treat somebody's daughter just like that. Mm-hmm. You know, you need to understand as well mm-hmm. what you're actually going to it. Because some men are actually into marriage, but they are not mature. They don't understand that, well, you know. Well, yeah, yeah. It's, it's become a hype. Once you get married, yeah. there are there are boundaries oh. and limits. I don't go out at this certain time. Mm. I'm with my wife at this certain hour. Mm. I, I'm with my child. Mm. You know, they don't understand these things. Mm. You know, I know a particular man. I'm not mentioning names, of course. <laughs> yeah, um, he was married, and all the time he was outside. Every evening, mm. every Saturday, instead of spending uh, the time with okay. his wife, mm. he was outside. Wow. So, you know, this will bring divorce because, yeah, yeah. you know, Saturday, I want to spend the time, time with You my... know, some men, they're just going to it. Yeah. I'm 30. I need to get married. I have a <laughs> yeah. house. I, you know, it seems like a clock. I don't no. understand this thing. It doesn't Please, work people, like tell me. I don't understand. <laughs> you know, I don't mm. know how I was, why our society are pressuring this. Mm. Mm. Why is... You're educating women, mm. but at the same time, you need to educate the men as well. Yes. Because, you know, somebody's daughter might be prepared, like you are prepared, mm, yeah. but what about your partner as well? Mm. Is he prepared enough? Mm. Or just because he has a house, he's working, uh, you know, mm. he's got it all together. Much, mm. Yes. You know, I think it's go on both ways as Grace, well. Grace, it's all cycle. It's all cycle. Because mm. what is making me ready is probably making him ready as well. Because mm. we are all from different backgrounds. Mm. Yeah. I personally wouldn't go for a man that, it's probably older than me a year or two okay. because I th- think that my way of thinking is overboard. Mm, okay. How overriding mentally. Mm. So when you say maturity, age is not maturity, but I, I for us, for me, age counts. Mm. I will not go with a man that I want older. I want someone older. I'm not saying 40, but mm. somewhere around. Yeah. Someone that, went, you know, he will be ready. Mm. I will be shocked to see a 40 years old man mm. or a 38 year old man who is not ready to build a family. Mm. There's mm. definitely one or two there. Yeah. Yes. There is. Yes. Yes. There is definitely. There certainly is. Fingers would count, but normally, um, generally, when, yeah. when you're growing up, yeah. you see things are catching up. Mm. Just like I'm saying, I was worrying about, you know, you see kids, all these children getting married, you, you feel like, God, what am I doing? Mm. The men, I think the men also go through mm, yes. but, that cycle. Mm. But you see what I found? Those women who say that, mm. once they got married, say maybe in their early 20s or mm, something, mm. fantastic, great. But have you thought of um, the, the, the things that you could have also achieved, but now because of marriage, it's, it's become limited. Yeah, it's and I've, I've spoken to some of my mm. friends as well about this. Life is look. Everyone's time is different. Yeah, okay? I get that, mm. but it's like there, there's so much more in you mm. that has to come out. Yes. Without a I must be honest. Yes, sometimes you need to do that without the presence of a man. Woman. Yeah, and see what you can achieve for yourself. For yourself yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, I believe that once you get married, there are certain things that will come out even mm-hmm. further. Yeah. There's, yes. there's particular blessings in mm-hmm. marriage yeah. that unfortunately, I must be honest here and say that in singleness, you mm-hmm. may not achieve. Yeah, yes. mm. Yet still, on the flip side as well, we have high achievers, mm-hmm. um, I mean, in women who, who, who can do it all themselves, mm-hmm. yeah. yes. you know. Mm. But please, everyone is running their own race. Yeah, that's true. Overtaking is allowed. <laughs> yeah. if, if you think you can go, yes. go. Yes. But don't compete with yeah. because we yeah. might don't crash. Don't pressure the other yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, overtake yeah. if you yeah, want to. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, to my girls and boys, whoever mm. is 20, 30s, mm. please don't let any person. And our church mm. also plays a role. Yeah. Mm. You know, there are certain churches that they connect each other. Yeah, and, network and we go to other places that you don't. But please don't let any person tell you that your time is passing yeah, about running that's true. out. Mm. For me, I've one thing is like when my door is open, my door is open. Mm-hmm. Have that mentality on. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I wasn't able to celebrate others because they were not in my circle. Mm-hmm. If you were not my age mate, that you were, I'm not coming. Mm-hmm. That was me. Mm-hmm. It hasn't bothered me because all my friends are married and mm-hmm. most of them yeah. I went. Mm-hmm. But, you know, be happy for if it's their time, their mm-hmm. time. Yeah, and, and get your time to mature. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Don't yeah. let any auntie, any yeah. elder pastor tell you that you have to go. Yeah. Okay, so what do you do if you're a lady where um, all you hear is get married, get married, get married? Because uh, bear hmm. in mind, th oh, these yeah, women who are being pressured <clears throat> and mentally they're now yeah, it's just, raining. just all over the place. <laughs> God, do you know what will happen? What will happen now is you now make a mistake oh. and you, perhaps you get, get pregnant mm, okay. mm. out of it. Mm. And now, the same people that said, get married, get yeah, married. That's what I was saying. Yeah. No, she couldn't wait. Yeah. They, I, was saying, wait. I was saying something that people have, I think I read this book about Joel Austin that says, people have the right to say whatever they want about mm. you. But you also have the right to ignore them, isn't it? Yeah. There's no such a law in the world which says that whatever well, my friend has to say, I should implement it in my life. Mm. Unless it's the prime minister or it's the queen of England. No, you know, so I, I think it all goes down to limits and boundaries. Once you know who you are, Mm. what you want is difficult mm. you know that at times i understand we are human beings at times it's just a lot of when a lot of people saying oh get married get married mm. get into us mm. but we need to let them understand listen this is my decision mm. this is my choice yeah. you are not coming to no. change my mind mm. they, because at times it's the same auntie saying this thing mm. at times you need to be a bit harsh on them yeah. yeah not disrespectful a bit harsh let them understand mm. let them know your mm. struggle not into detail but let them know that it's something that you have been praying about, about. and they shouldn't come and say it oh, just yeah, like that because yeah. it's really sensitive yeah Sensi well, like you know, childbirth as yes. said, it's extremely exactly sensitive what i was going to say why would you say that if your daughter was in that position would you say that if somebody else was outside and would say why is your daughter grace not getting married why how would you react yeah. mm. you know at times they don't put themselves mm -hmm. in our shoes yes because some people will be crying they will be going to emotional distress they will, you know it's just a whole a whole, a whole lot yeah. so i think praying helps as well and not allowing people because some people they don't even know you they mm. just come and just want to destroy they don't know you. don't certain people like distractions that. just put it yeah. away don't, don't allow them to enter don't in your comfort you, zone it's know. a choice decision and maturity once wow. you think you are not completed don't go into don't it don't go into it wow <laughs> <sighs> we'll wrap it up here <laughs> But I think we could have gone on yeah. and on and on about this one. This is a hot um, topic. Honestly, yeah. it's a really hot topic. <laughs> and thank you so much for sharing your views. Thank you You're too. Welcome. I've taken them on board. And I hope those who have watched this one have taken notes mm. of the many things that we've mentioned here. We would kindly ask that you subscribe, like, share, and also comment. Just share your views about this topic. And perhaps even if it's something very personal to you, feel free. This is a community we're building. And we want you to know that singleness is beautiful. Okay? Singleness is beautiful. It, make sure that your best, you, you get to get to your place where you're the best version of yourself. Please. It's really important. And as well, um, I want to say thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one.